Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Your Run Oven Break, where basically this is going to be the last part of the story portion in regards to the Peril in Paradise game mode, or Protect Desert Paradise, or Save Desert Paradise, or Firm Desert Paradise. Doesn't matter. We need to go ahead and protect Desert Paradise, and by that I mean Desert Paradise, because I know people are going to flame me in the comments because of how it's playing spelled. I know. I hate myself too for how I say it. And apparently it's telling me that I should be running with Red Panda Con at level playing 11. Are you kidding me? I want to rather I want to run with Herb. I just recently got them unlocked. Are you plumbing kidding me? They're not even at a maxed out pet. Oh my eye plumbing yai eye plumbing yai. Okay, do I even have any better costumes for you? Is this is this all I have for you? It's all this. Well, sprout jellies are all jellies. I guess this. I don't know. Maybe all jellies might be a little bit more better. I don't really know. Eh, we'll, we'll just go ahead and run with it, just in case. Uh, of course, none of my plebeian cookies are on stat. I mean, Red Panda Cotta Cookie's not on stat, but still. I, I need to go ahead and destroy 150. I have to go with Red Panda Cotta Cookie. I actually, I realize I have to. Because it said literally right... Run six times, it doesn't matter. Uh, it says there I need to destroy obstacles, specifically with Red Panda Cotta. So I have to. So I have to go through the whole entire spiel upgrading. Why give me access? Or at least give me the... Th I mean, it's not giving me access because I could always run with Herb Kiki. But why give me the option of, like, using other cookies? And you're telling me, like, oh, now that you've gotten past this part, you have to do this. But now you're just, like, you have to go through this first. Oh, my gosh. It's just kind of ridiculous. Like... Well, am I, I am I going to be able to run with plumbing red panda cotta cookie like the moment that I unlock another cookie? And I know they're not unlocked, but still, it's it's it makes me angry. It makes me infuriated. Considering I don't even have I don't even have the treasure on par with me because that needs to be at level nine. I hate this plumbing game. Okay, there's some things that I hate about this game, and that happens to be one of them. Because the thing is, I know of course I can use red panda cotta cookie still, but the thing is, I know if I do that, that I'd have to do like four or like five runs that I have to like cut out and I'm just like at that point I, I may as well just do the upgrading now there's another event that has to do with me upgrading Red Panda Cotton Cookie a lot I can I swear recently this game just really wants you to like upgrade the primary cookie that just like recently got released like I'm not even joking like if you don't have it at at least like level 11 and that's and with the pets if you don't have this cookie at at least like level 11 the new cookie that comes out good plumbing luck trying to get anywhere and like the events, or like trophy race, or like breakout, because you will most likely have to use this cookie just to get any sort of rewards done or get. Like I know it's, I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer about it, but that's just the fact of plumbing life in regards to like the recent plumbing seasons and events of the cookie run. It will most likely have to do with you like running with a new cookie and just buffing out the whole entire cookie, which I'm not opposed to. I'm just saying like, I, I like saving my crystals. And, like, of course, I know there's the season boxes, too, so there's that, and I, like, I, I can go ahead and just get loot out of that. But, like, even then, still, my point still stands. I don't know. Anyway, I was gonna go ahead and play a game, but, uh, I realized, uh, none of, none of my friends were on. So, I kind of just went back to doing some recordings. Uh, however, there is something I do want to record for a, uh, sudden surprise in your local club video. Because there's a game that I, I actually made two videos on it. I actually should have made a few more. But, uh, there's a, there's a game that I played on the Your Local Plev channel two times, actually. Because one time, I played it regularly, and the next time, it actually got updated. And, uh, recently, the update, actually, for the game, came out the same day that I'm recording this. Not the day that I'm uploading, but, like, August 30th. And it got updated, so I need to do a video on that for Your Local Plev. I won't work on it immediately, because, you know, there's always all this stuff that I gotta work on. But I can probably see how fast I can actually get the video out. I could probably do it like the Amazing Digital Circus video where, like, I kind of rushed to get that video out. It wasn't even much rushed. It was just more like, you know, review it and just give my general opinions. Because if not, then what, what the plug else can I really say about it? Because I could honestly do a video kind of talking about Episode 2, but I feel like should I wait for the whole series to come out? I don't know. I was thinking about doing a whole entire, like, over, like, recap series about the entirety of plumbing the murder drone stuff, which is also on Glitch, which is the same creators of plumbing uh, Amazing Digital Circus. But I think I'll wait for that, because that's going to take a lot of viewing, and it's going to be a plumbing long video. So with that being said, let's go back to this and get this plumbing lobby thing, or like this postcard thing, whatever it is. You cannot do this. You cannot force the dessert animals to leave. All the dessert paradise is open to all those who pose it no threat. You cannot harass the cookies and animals simply because you do not like them. <sighs> harass? 
Your impudence really knows no bounds. I have not harassed anything. I am simply beautifying them. If anything, they should be thankful that I'm taking the time to improve their bland appearances. Oh, true. I like these changes. Huh. Now that, I can now that I'm topped with a grape, I suppose I'm a gold grape cake. Uh-huh. I'm sure there are some cookies who are pleased with these changes, but that does not change the forcing things upon those who do not want them is clear harassment. Gold honey cake cookie, will you please force Red Panic out of cookie to leave my presence? He continues to become more impudent. Do you truly wish to go against my word? The Guardian's role is to serve the Sugar Swan. That is true, but that includes the duty to correct our master if she's lead down or is led down a mistaken path. Hmm. Red Panic Katakiki does not know when to give up. Why is he so desperate to go against my word? Things would be so much easier if he just gave into my demands and joined the others in praising me. Would he be treating me like this if I was the pure white sugar swan? I doubt it, but that does not change that I am the sugar swan, the true owner of the desert paradise. Why well, would he not accept my great intentions? I am I not beautiful enough? I've defied fate to get this far. They better not dare to think it will be that easy to break me down all over again. I must become more beautiful. So beautiful, all will naturally follow my word. Sure. You... Whose voice is that? Who dares enter my garden without my permission? Black Sugar Duck. Black Sugar Duck? Are you in here? She's not here. I guess my hunch was wrong again. I've looked everywhere around Paradise, but she's nowhere to be seen. I followed the shore of Galaxy Lake and ended up somewhere I don't realize. Or even recognize. The black roses are beautiful. Black Sugar Duck, where have you run off to? You're not in your nest. You're nowhere to be found. I'm sure you would have found this garden beautiful. Petals were the colors of the night sky, much like your feathers, scattered and dance, gracefully giving off their scent. I only wish we could dance together, surrounded by a beautiful scene. What are you doing in my garden without my permission? Oh, Black Sugar Swan Cookie, I apologize. I wandered here in search of a dear friend. I'll leave right away. No, stop right there. You are quite the beautiful Kiki. Would you care to dance for me? I would love to. However, can it be after I manage to find my friend? Have you seen an all s an, a smack bl a small black feathered duck anywhere? A duck? I never left such a small insignificant bird within the bounds of my garden. Take your mind off such a hobby and just such a shabby little bird and dance with me. Black sugar duck may be small, but she is not insignificant. Her eyes and feathers glimmer much like yours. This is unfathomable. You're surrounded by my beautiful, peaceful paradise. Why are you so insistent on finding such a small bird? She's my dear friend. When we first arrived here, she did not hesitate to fly to my side and speak with me. We even gathered sugar stones together to call you. She was a bit too concerned with what was pretty or beautiful, but I like Black Sugar Swan because she is always straightforward about her feelings. Now that I think about it, you don't seem that unfamiliar to me. Whipped Cream Kiki, you are one of the most beautiful Kikis in all of Desert Paradise. I'll find your friend if you if you wish to say, if you wish it so. Really? Thank you, Black Sugar Swan Cookie. Yes. Yeah, so, won't you please fierce dance with me for all the life dear birds? I'm sure your dancing will please everyone in Desert Paradise. Really? Yes, really. Really? Yes, really. Okay, that's that's certainly a thumbnail. The two of us together will make every day and every night in Desert Paradise like a gorgeous ball, a never-ending performance of beauty. How wonderful would that be? It sounds amazing. I'm sure my dear friend would enjoy it too. Yes, so now you should let all of your concerns go and just dance with me. We will put on a performance that will have everyone watching on and all. I can't believe I'm dancing beneath the moonlight. This feels like a dream. It is beautiful night for us to take flight. Let us take off. That, that sounded more lustrous than I needed to make it sound, but now it's a peaceful night on Galaxy Lake, which now it wants us to run with Blue Slushy. So apparently, Herb Kiki just plubs off, because apparently you don't need to run with Herb Kiki around here. Because that's literally just the fatter, the fun fact matter of life. I know I said that already. Oh, is this the song for a Sugar Swan? No, but it's for Black Sugar Swan instead. I'm pretty sure we will get Black Sugar Swan's uh, song the moment that Black Sugar Swan actually comes out. Okay, jump for the blue ones, because those are the ones that's transformed. That's kind of dangerous. I'm sorry. When you have a scene like that, and I'm just gonna say, when you have something that looks like Black Sugar Swan Cookie, how'd you not expect me to do like voices that had to sound like that? Like, I'm sorry. I kind of gave it like my full force right there, and uh, yeah, we ended up getting that. Man, if only I was a female doing those voices, then uh, it'd be a lot more fitting and soothing. 
Instead, it's just my plumbing ugly voice doing all this garbage. But I've been doing it for plumbing years, and I'm surprised how I don't quite count as a plumbing voice actor yet. By the way, I tried to get some uh, voice actor roles recently, and like, one thing I have never been gotten back to, so I don't know if the role's already been chosen, or something else, like, has gone on with it. Which I'll be mad if that whole entire thing got cancelled, because it's gonna be like a sixth thing that's gotten cancelled I tried to get in for. And another thing I tried voicing for, uh, I, I did not get chosen. Which, to be fair, I'm not saying I'm mad at it, I'm just saying, like, man, I wish I was chosen for something. I only voice acted for, like, one or two things ever in my life. And that's, and that's literal truth. I'm being honest right there. I want to try and branch my voice out so I can try and appease, like, different people so I can get my name more out there. I'm not trying to do this for all the fame and glory, but I like doing, like, things that can branch my path of, like, my sets of skills, basically. Because I, I have a somewhat good voice. And I don't want to make my voice, like, even worse. Because here's the thing. I used to do a really good laugh. But now I can't do that anymore. I don't know why. I just can't. By the way, those transforms in just straight up bear jelly. So I don't know what those were about. But after this, it's going to be the very last cutscene we go through. Uh, at least excluding the story missions that we have to take, like, two videos to do. But we'll get to them later. I know I have to, like, do this whole entire event anyway. Because, of course, imagine if I didn't. Like, the only time I think I managed to skip an event was, I think, uh... While I was still in the midst of playing Cookie Run, I think it was the event with a churro cookie and uh, the plumbing cookie moles. Because I think I was... I got distracted by the plumbing back. Oh my gosh. I thought I could just... Oh, I just bit my plumbing tongue too. You gotta be plumbing kidding me. I literally just wanted to go... Oh, I could probably make this jump. But that plumbing green thing, I thought literally was a part of the plumbing background. Oh, I'm so... I'm, I'm just, I'm not even gonna, like, be forced from about it. I'm just pissed off about that. That actually made me angry. I know it's gonna make me, like, continue from where I left off, but still, that's not gonna stop the fact that I bit my tongue and now I'm angry about it. I'm not really mad about the fact that I bit my tongue, but come on. It was just one thing. And I guarantee you the cookie moles are gonna appear in, like, three seconds. I'm, I would not even be surprised. My energy's pausing. Yep, I plubbing knew it. I plubbing knew it. I need to take a breather. I'm getting mad. Well, let me get a drink of floating water. Okay. Anyway. Why are you all hiding behind the trees? Shh! We're investigating secretly! You're way too visible to be hiding. What's the investigation about? It's about the black sugar swan! That cookie can't be the real sugar swan! You're suspicious of the cookie, too? What's the reason? She said we're not cute! What? That, that's your only reason? What do you what do you mean only? We've never heard anyone say that. We, we've never heard that from anyone. The sugar swan always used to give us warm pats, but Black Sugar Swan told us to stay hidden. We're the strongest and cutest in the world, so this is all so weird. I can see why you get along with Blue Sushi Cookie. It's impressive that you didn't fall for Black Sugar Swan's disguise, but it's so dangerous for ordinary cookies. You might get tricked. I have a case I'd like to assign you to. It's something only you can handle. What's the case? Leave it to us. We can handle anything, even though we just formed a detective team a few minutes ago. I lost the work log, and I think Blue Sucker Cookie dropped it near the Paradise Jelly Tree. But I don't have time to look for it. I need to- I need- I need it before tonight's meeting. It would be great if you could find it for me. Oh no, but you always kept it in your sleeve. We'll find it right away. Let's go, team. I can turn their attention elsewhere for now, but it's only temporary. I'll handle things with the Dessert Guardians before any other cookies get into trouble. Well... You say that, but it's more like you're going to try and handle things going on about blue slushy cookie and, uh, I guess gold honey cookie. G gold honey cake? Which I swear, if their name changes to, uh, gold cherry? What, what, whatever the plug was, it grape? Gold grape cake? That's what it is. It, it's whatever the plug that was on their plumbing heads. By the way, I got this, I got the gold coin. Is, is that enough things that I need to get done? It's just getting, it's just trying to give me the points of like, oh, get this amount of points done or more. I hope it's enough. I hope that's all I need. Because I'm getting sick of this. I need to go ahead and rest my throat. I didn't want to collect that, but you know what? Blub it. Uh, and we'll get the cookie moles and also a pet for free. It should... It's not enough. Is it really not enough? It's not plumbing enough. What else do I need to plumbing do? Are you kidding me? Really, I need to get that many points. I'm just going to plumbing run with herb. I just 150... Herb or red panic hot? I think red panic hot would actually... No, I have to run with her. Why would I not run with herb? Literally, I got him to this point already, so why the plumb nuts? I need just 150 million points with her. That's literally all I plumbing need. 
Heck, I don't even know what's gonna be more done quick, the total point mission, or just- Oh, man, we're actually getting a lot of points already. But, like, I don't even know what would be faster, this mission, or the total point mission where I need, like, what, 650 million? I don't even remember. And the worst part, is now I'm getting the hiccups. I think whenever I get angry, I just instinctively get the hiccups. I don't know why, but it just tends to happen. But I literally need, like, one mission done that can get me four coins. That's literally- that's literally it. Have these missions gotten more repetitive? It's starting to seem like that. But, then again, there's not much creativity when it comes to these missions. There's no missions where it's like, oh, don't get hit, or like, don't collab, or uh, collab? No, I need to start collabing. But like, don't like collide with obstacles, or like, jump this certain amount of time, or slide this long amount of time. It's just, break obstacles, get jellies, get a high score. That's, that's it. That's basically all you're getting. Okay, 650 million points. Well, that's one. I think that's the herb mission completed. So let me go ahead and complete this in the meantime. So, okay. This has to be more than enough. If it's not, I'll actually be shot. Please? Thank you. Claim, claim it all. Okay, that's literally two sets of silver coin. That's that's way more than enough. And then do that, and do that. Now we're finally done with the story. At least for now, for chapter one. Thank you for the plumbing gems. Ugh. An elegant pirouette and leap. Wow, your performance is so amazing. Black sugar swan kiki? And whipped cream kiki's dancing was as beautiful and graceful as ever. When did you get when you when did you get all this ready? Where did you practice this? How can I get good at dancing? Lou Shusha Kiki, could you please focus? We're not here to just play around. But but it's only natural to be in awe after seeing something so amazing. I know we're supposed to be focusing on watching the black sugar swan, but you can't tell me that you aren't amazed by their dancing. I cannot deny that it was beautiful. Black roses are blooming everywhere in the black sugar swan's wake. We need closer look at the flowers. Then we should look! Oh, Black Sugar Swan Kiki, your black roses are so beautiful! They're so, so beautiful! Could you please give me just like, one as a gift? Ah, oh, little blue bird, you're as noisy as ever today. However, I'll offer you my grace for your eye for beauty. Gather here, desert animals. I'll gift you all with these black roses so you, too, will one day have a beauty worthy of this paradise. Thank you, Black Sugar Swan Kiki. These flowers glitter like the stars in the night sky. You deserve these flowers and more. There's nothing I would not give to you. Thank you, truly, but what about my friend? The one I mentioned before. Oh, beautiful cookie, rid yourself of your worries. I keep my promises. Don't you feel like you should be smiling and enjoying this with everyone else? You're right. I was too rash. Let me help in any way I can. I'll, I'll, I'll assist in anything that I can do. That is more like it. Let go of your worries and enjoy the moments. Desert Paradise will remain eternally beautiful in my power. It will be so beautiful that nobody, NOBODY, can ever speak bad about it or look down upon it. May the entirety of paradise be died in a deep darkness that can never be ignored. <sighs> what is this power? The malice spreading throughout desert paradise has grown stronger. The wind has lost its sweet scent. You're right, Wind Archer Cookie. The amount of fluff has increased too. It has turned as gray as ash. <laughs> We must protect our beautiful paradise! Bandy Vixie, we have to work together to stop this! Thank you, Cookie Moss. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with the eternal sweetness. We must find the source of this power before it's too late. Wind Archer Cookie, look. The creamy snow on the chocolate berry forest is melting. And the brownie hedgehogs are all collapsed over there! Quick, we have to help them! All these ominous signs are popping up quicker than we can handle them. Buttershell Fox Cookie, please go let the Guardians know about what's happening in the desert paradise. I'll run as fast as I can to let Red Panda Kata Cookie know. Be careful on your way. The rest of us here should work on moving the brownie hedgehog somewhere safe. Did you just see that flash of light right where Black Sugar Song Cookie was? And it sounded like the Paradise Jelly Tree was screeching. I, I felt it too. It looks like the sky got darker too. The dessert paradise is quaking. It doesn't look like the other dessert animals sense anything wrong though. They're all just staring at the black roses like they can't take their eyes off them. Something's really wrong. The black, the black parrot sugar swan's black rose. If I bring my feathers with this, it can be as beautiful as her. You'll be beautiful. You're beautiful even without the flower. Something weird about this black sugar swan. She used to rip about how cute we are. What does it mean to be have a beautiful word being in the dessert paradise? Being beautiful should be good, right? Are you feeling okay? There's so many birds who can't leave their nest recently. Oh, my feathers have felt rather clumsy. It's getting hard to be the early bird. 
Red panda kind of cookie. The wind is getting stronger. <coughs> my throat hurts. And my eyes sting. Oh, we need to get the bird somewhere safe. There's more fluff like the stuff Wind Archer Kiki showed us, too. All the birds and Kikis look weakened. Something is surely wrong. Dessert Paradise is wilting everywhere we go. Only the Black Sugar Swan's roses have maintained their vitality and glow. Blue Slushy Kiki, Red Panda Gata Kiki, Buttershell Fox Kiki, where did you come from? Weren't you with the Wind Archer? W weren't you with the Kiki Mose and the Wind Archer? We've been, we've been all looking around the Desert Paradise to try and find eternal sweetness. Uh, but the fluff slowed me down the way here, and with how I got caught in my fur. Pale bluish gray fluff is showing up all around the Eternal Paradise, and the dessert animals are falling ill, and even the creamy snow in the Chocolateberry Forest is melting. We'll begin looking for the eternal sweetness with you. Well, where have you not checked? The only place forbidden to others is the Forest Cave, but I didn't notice anything weird there when I was doing my Guardian test. There's one other place, a place none of us thought, or dare to enter. Well, where? There's something that, that, that there's something that, uh, like that, right here in Dessert Paradise? Well, let's go now. Where did Black Sugar Swan Cookie go? Wait, she was just, she was just right here? Blue Sister Cookie, I'm gonna go to the Sugar Swan's castle at the Galaxy Lake. I would like you to stay here and take care of the dessert animals and ensure they get somewhere safe. Buttershell Fox Cookie, go ask if Wind Arch Cookie has found any additional information. We must know what eternal sweetness looks like. There was nothing to be found in the Frost Cave. I thought we could at least find a clue. At least we're able to find and help some sick dessert animals on the way. That's right, your rows were so amazing too, they split right through the air and made it clear. Sadly, the effect is only temporary. The air has already grown stale. My vision is clouding with all this fluff. It's okay. We'll all find a way to fix this together. Let's go back to the Guardian Kikis. There's still more places to check. Huh? What's that sound? Wind Archer Kiki, I, I can hear something rustling. Oh, the whoa, whoa, whoa. There's super chilly drops of water falling from above. Pandy, that isn't water. It's sticky sweet honey drops made by the honey spiders. Be careful not to get hot in their honey webs. I know that much. I'm just gonna avoid all the honey webs if the honey fell on me from above. And so plumbing, it's so sticky. From above? Well, I guess I'll help you then. Wait, huh? Wait, some just dropped on me too. It's it's actually it's actually sweet. Cookie Mo's quick. We need to escape. The honey spiders are heading towards you from the upper part of the honeyweb forest. What? Oh, hey, honey spiders. We're just uh, we're just passing through. Why are all the honey spiders so aggressive? Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Spinning guys are wrapping around us in their honey webs. Honey spiders. I am Wind Archer Cookie. One of the protectors of the Desert Paradise. I implore you to release the Kikimos and clear a path for our exit. Hmm, Guardian of the Old Tree. I am the first spider to hatch from its egg upon the creation of this paradise. I sense its end approaching. Hmm, the forest withers, and our honeywebs have lost their stickiness. Where am I to find fresh chilies to feed my children? Ruler of the Desert Paradise Honey Spiders. We have nothing we can give. However, we are working to return, return Desert Paradise to once it, what it once was. You were born at the same time Desert Paradise was created, so do you know anything about the eternal sweetness that maintains it? You are trying to sugarcoat my question with a question of your own. If you cannot provide what me and my family need, then you must become food for my children yourselves. Ah! Wind Archer, we're all caught in the honeywebs! Come on, just run! What is all of this? When did the interior of the Galaxy Lake Castle change? Huh! Who knows? It's quite the birdcage. I wonder if the Black Sugar Swan decorated it. You are the guardian tasked with guarding the Galaxy Lake Castle under her orders. You should have reported any damages that, or just any changes that occurred. This is why Black Sugar Swan Cookie told you not to let you in the castle. You're so nitpicky about everything. I'm not being nitpicky. I'm asking you to do your honest duty. What did you just say? The Black Sugar Swan told you to forbid my entrance to the castle? That's right. I'm simply following my orders. Nor cookie, nor dessert animal has been allowed in this since Black Sugar Swan Cookie returned to Desert, desert Paradise. Desert Paradise is coated in black feathers and dark thorns. Do you not find this strange? And a bird cave on top of that? It is a terrifying sight to see. I didn't think that much about it. Plus, there's nothing that I, Gold Honey Cake Cookie, am afraid of. Ha ha ha. Leave this place, Red Pound of Cookie. The, bl the Black Sugar Swan will be very displeased if she finds you here. No. I must get a closer look. I'm sure the truth is hidden within the castle walls. There's nothing other than the black feathers and the cage. What is there to be suspicious of? Hmm. Or is it all suspicious? Little red bird, what are you so suspicious of? And yellow bird, do you take my orders as some sort of a joke? Black sugar swan cookie! Naughty birdies must be punished. Ugh! What are you doing? Open the cage this instant! I want you to perch pretty right there and think about what you've done. I will be out there, creating my dessert paradise. I'm sure you will come to love it. It will be quite amusing if you finish reflecting on your deeds before I return. <laughs> 
And it's literally just left off right there. We don't have any signification as to where uh, Plebeian Sugar Swan is. I mean, she's probably out still doing her trip, but still. Uh, but we're, uh, we're not really in a good position right now. Seems that uh, Buttershell Fox is weakened. Well, with Blue Slushy trying to just evacuate all the animals. Uh, the rest of the Cookie Moles and Wind Archer are about to be eaten. And I don't know what the plug happened with the uh, plugging gold honey cake plug. But they're still on Sugar Hunt and Swan's side for all I know. Or they also got locked up. And Red Panicata Cookie's also locked up. Anyway, hard mode's a thing now. Which now it says here. I see you've made it to the hard mode. I would expect no less from a Dessert Guardian candidates. You will now be able to use Dessert skills. Follow me when you're prepared. Well, I'd like to, but you're going to force me to go there anyway, so thanks. This is where you can set your dessert skills. They're locked for now, but you can complete missions to unlock every skill. Consider which skills will help you complete each mission. If you're having trouble, try adjusting your dessert skills to find the right combination. Complete hard mode will make you eligible to become a true dessert guardian. Good luck. Find your ideal dessert skills settings to protect the paradise, to protect the paradise and the sugar swan. Well, if only the sugar swan is available around here, but... So, it's just more of like the uh, branching path thing, I think. So, we'll just cover that in the next time that we play, once we actually get hard mode unlocked, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to max up these plebbing cookies. Yes, yeah, that's about right. What is the best cookie that you can run with in the leaderboard? Let's just do a quick check. Red Panicata with Pilot. <coughs> if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my cookie run content, and if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I need in the future, and also down below in the description, you'll see links to all of my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the cookie run YouTube staff for absolutely free, but there's also a link to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and lastly, a link to my Kofi, where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally, believe, uh, you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel, but above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video, heal the Hype Beast.